Do not mind me, I am not a simple armor. The 2020 shitlord thrown a rig is off to a great start. I cannot wait for Stressy Depressy to win the whole thing. Fuck you, the winner will be sweet potato mum mum. Fuck you, the winner will be Tempest Game fucking here. Look at the time, it's the 2020 shitlords. Rona Rieg, due to executive order by the president himself. Rona Rieg is in session. All right, folks, I know you've been waiting a long time. You've been stressing. You've been out in the wilderness. You've been out in the Bavarian Alps during winter. You've been freezing. You're cold. You're hungry. You want that Rona Rieg content. Asking yourself, why can I not have Rona Rieg this week? And God looks upon your desolate soul and says, you can't have Rona Rieg this week. You gotta wait till next week. Please, sir, thank you. Week two has been some bullshit. A lot has happened in the Rona Rieg. Look at, look at these boys, G throwing a ball to the 50, there's a 60, there's a 70, and this is some big brain shit, I can't describe it to you, you're too dumb. All of my years of not getting a shit about this game, it's been, oof, uh, it's been a fucking week, let me tell you. There's violence, there's mayhem everywhere, backstabbing, Rona Reed flying hot, flying nasty, no one foresaw such disaster. <clears throat> Let's get to some shit. Gambling addicts everywhere were stunned at the massive blowout by fuck train. Beating the shit out of uh, the team, this fucking guy. Swinging his big fuck caboose all over Team Smackdown. More like getting smacked down by some fuck train. This blowout landed fuck train in the overachiever circle. You're trying too hard, dude. Calm down. Stressy, depressy, gonna be stressing. <laughs> and depressing a little bit more because of this narrow loss to Wuhan bats. Good job, you spread that coroni. Lowest scorer of the week's gonna go to Team Stony Mandy. What I tell you about this name, dog? I should uh, try it hard. Lil Nasty Boys taking their loss to heart really brought the game in week two. Getting highest scorer all the way up there dead. good news little nasty boys this means you are promoted to that rapist down the street <laughs> everything's good gotta come down sweet potato ma'am ma'am yeah uh you get, get your shit together man making me look bad sweet potato now boy you know i done taught you better than that what you uh, I, you go and you do the thing i i mean sweet potato sweet potato how could you all right, let's talk about the commodities. Quarterback of the week, highly specialized honor. This one's gonna go to Jack and Daxter Prescott. If he did it, good job, dog. You can throw a thing, you can kick a thing or something. I don't know what the fuck you do. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna dive deep on De De Dexter's lab of Prescott. We're gonna go down to Texas, boys, and we're gonna see old Dacky. Good old Dicky Dicky Prisco. And he's having a party. During pandemic times, like all of us during 2020, Rona Reed, bringing us to week two, manager of the week, Upsetty Spaghetti. Ooh, gonna eat that pasta all day. Mamma mia, give me that. Mm, I'm fucking triggered, but it's so good. Congratulations, Upsetty Spaghetti. You won nothing. It's only week two, but that's okay. Nothing could possibly go wrong in week three. Everything's coming to a head, folks. Rivalries are starting and ending. Huh? Huh? That's football. We got some blood feuds, folks. We got Stressy Depressy in a blood oath duel to the death with Fuck Train. Who could 
possibly win this epic run. It was stressy depressy. He fucking annihilated fuck train. It wasn't even close. It was like, it's sad. It was kind of depressing. You know, fuck train is stressing and depressing. Into the lowest scorer of the week. That's going to be Jayton's football team. It, I mean, where's your 40 chest now, Jayton? I thought you had something going. I got... Where's those nuclear plans? I'm waiting. We got some more drama upsetty spaghetti thinking that he can get some advice from big dogs got it and you know big dogs immediately swiped the the player that that he was getting advice about a uh, real dick move this allowed him to win a narrow victory against upsetty spaghetti so narrow in fact i don't even know why you give a shit Ooh baby we got a high score we got tampa's gay fucking ears you may have noticed that i got the name right this time go me you're you're soaring so high into that overachievers what are you doing on that building are you gonna jump you better not jump or do anything goofy up there as usual um cowboys uh let everybody down I mean, <laughs> what were you fucking expecting? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Uh, I, I can't believe I'm saying it. Who looks like it's gonna be 50 counts of worst manager this week for the Cosby Sleepers. I don't know what you were thinking. Maybe your defense was bad. Maybe those witnesses. Get your shit together, dog. You're looking at, at 25 to life. Shit Lords 2020 quarterback coverage. Quarterback of the week. Patrick Mahoney's Mahomi Mahama Patrick Mahomes. Let's get down and dirty on this quarterback. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, he likes ketchup. I want the ketchup on my body. You know, we he's like he's got he's at least his mom and dad. Real proud of him, Pat and Randy. Let's get a let's get a shout out for Pat and Randy Mahomes. Ooh, all you players excited for that Steelers versus Titans game. Too bad, motherfucker. Should have worn your mask. Shut down due to COVID. What else is going to get shut down? Your rights as a citizen. Stand up. Second Amendment, it always matters. That's what this country is built on. Don't fucking tread on me. So that leaves us with our best manager of the week. <sighs> all right, you win. You fucking win. Uh, Stony Mandy. I'm sorry, Team Stony Mandy. Congratulations, you're the winner of Best Manager of the Week. Stony Mandy, everybody! Stony Mandy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Stony Mandy, pass me one of those 520s. This has been the 2020 Shit Lords Rona Re. This has been Cody. As always, want to thank. Our sponsor, our founder, our visionary, our purpose of being sleeper, and Raid Shadow Legends. Tune in next time so you can learn the answers to the most pressing shitlords questions. Where the fuck are little nasty boys getting all these cookies? Where's that flag? That penalty flag? You all saw it. Is Gilgamesh shit-talking Ishtar a form of the patriarchy? These are all questions you will soon find out on the next episode. 20 shitlords roll. Ah, the Ronari.